Guys, I don't know if you guys seen this, but this is actually big news. This is this is pretty big news. Um the NFL has officially announced its launch to NFL Africa. Mm. And they have an initiative to spread fo- American football around the world. They have currently gone to other cities and have professional football games being played in Mexico City okay. and in London. And in 2024 to 2025, they are looking at Accra, Ghana to start their mm. um, NFL initiative. And this is pretty big because they announced this um, during a Super Bowl halftime commercial. So let's go ahead and play. I haven't seen this commercial yet. That's crazy. I don't um, know how I missed that. Yeah, this is pretty big news. Um, And I would love Top Hill family, the people in the comments, let us know your opinion, what you feel about the NFL coming into Africa. You guys rocking with it or you not? Is this top? Is this not? Let me know. But let's get into this commercial real quick. Welcome back to Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas. Chrissy, it's 2 a.m. You have school tomorrow. Get some rest. Yo, that time different ain't no joke, because I ain't gonna lie. We stream live on the East Coast and gotta be in the building. Y'all be like, y'all niggas, it's be three o'clock in the morning <laughs> when we stream it. Shout out to Ghana. And I'll be asleep. Shout out to everybody in Ghana who be listening to the Top Hill podcast live, man. Shout out to y'all. But anyway. New Jersey, that baby girl. See you tomorrow, Saquon. Okay. You got it, Questy. Stop, stop. The crowd goes wild. Hey, Chrissy. Chrissy. Well, you better get, hey, get a butt whipping. You don't be running, <laughs> running on the table like that. I know, I know them African plant, parents don't be playing. At all. Come on, man. You better get. I mm. felt that fire through you. Man, I, I, I heard my dad's belt come out. <laughs> all right. I'm going to destroy my house. Oh. 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 Question, take the slap. Hike! Get out! 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 Get Oh, my fault! That's on you, bro. Besides, I'm not even real. Oh! Oh! I love the coconuts, Paul. Hey, yo! Coconuts is fire. Is this your ball? What's your name? Kwesi. Kwesi, I'm OC. I know that look. I know that dream. I had the same one. See, Kwesi, doesn't have to be a dream anymore. Doesn't matter where you're born, as long as you're born to play. Just making sure you were real. <laughs> After 80 years, y'all, we finally getting to a different continent. Oh, well, man. Let me get them on the ball. That was actually very touching. I ain't going to lie. That was, that was a hell of a... Uh, experience right there i don't even yeah. want to call it a commercial that was that was an experience um i think this is actually beautiful i think this is amazing um if this is done right mm. if this is done correctly mm. um because obviously you know the nfl is like 80 percent black right mm. there's a, most of the players are black you know staff and stuff like that the only thing is the owners you know um them coming into africa can establish infrastructure 
um, give kids more things to do, give them more opportunities, more programs and stuff like that. This could be an amazing benefit to um, specifically Ghana, but mm -hmm. even Africa as a whole to get involved in this as well, too. Um, <clears throat> if you guys don't know, um, I recently came back from Kenya. Um, I've been to Africa three times. I've been to Ghana. I've been to Tanzania. I've been to Kenya. Love Africa. I'm going to keep going back. Um, in my last trip, I found it very interesting that not a lot of people knew what American football looked like. Mm -hmm. And I was showing them some NFL highlight videos on my phone. And they were just like, wow, this looks cool. This looks amazing. I want to see this. Like they, they genuinely are interested, but they never seen it before. Mm -hmm. um, so having this, um, this program, having professional football players come to Africa and play, mm -hmm. this is going to mean maybe new stadiums. Mm -hmm. Not only is the stadium going to have host NBA, um, NFL games, but can possibly host other venues. Another thing, it's like Afro Future Festival is big in Ghana every year. December, they can put a, a they can have a big ass stadium in Accra, Ghana, and have many uh, big events and stuff like that. People mm. already go back there already anyway. Mm. Um, ever since the year of return, um, back in 2019, Ghana's tourism has skyrocketed and has been like a doorway, bridge, and pathway for a lot of. African Americans and Africans in the diaspora to come back to Africa. Um, I think Ghana is a great place to visit. So much beauty, so much things to see, great food, and the people are like us. Like I remember I was going around um Ghana and I can walk comfortably in the streets of Accra and not be bothered. People I I you know, we look like each other, you know what I mean, in, in West Africa and stuff like that. So um, I felt very comfortable. I felt very safe. Um, and I hear more and more people talking about going to Africa, going back. And I think it's important that us as African Americans touch with our brothers and sisters in Africa and collaborate, communicate, and, you know, build together, you know, before other people come in and do it. Because mm -hmm. other people are coming to do it. Yeah. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But I think this is a positive initiative from what it looks like. I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic. And um, I really hope that this helps Ghana and does not hurt Ghana. Mm. You know? So I'm curious to know what our audience, um, the Top Hill family, what do you guys feel about um, the NFL coming to Africa? Do you think this is amazing? Um, do you think this is a great move? Are you skeptical about it? What concerns do you have? And this is good too, because like if you do have some concerns, maybe we can help, um, you know, get that message to the NFL mm -hmm. and and you know hopefully put some changes in effect. So, um, you know, don't be shy in the comments. Let us know what you guys um, think. So, uh, really greatly appreciate you guys for tuning in and watching this. And uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm not gonna lie. This looks dope. This looks dope. Okay. So we got the next one. Top hill, top hill, top hill, hell no, top.